for me that's normal it's 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 human it's just fine you know at the end of the year there you can look at his numbers and his numbers will always be exceptional um and uh, throughout you know obviously the club season and then also with, with his national team uh, for me it's not a big deal when he has an off game here and there Roy Keane obviously made headlines by saying that he's like a League Two player. Well, I don't think it's any surprise that some of Erling Haaland's all-round game are, are certainly... There's certainly room for improvement. Uh, but he's an, he, what he is, Erling Haaland is about physicality and goals. When it comes to all-round play, and I'm not suggesting he's a better player, uh, better, uh, he's a worse goal scorer, but he's not in the same planet, say, as a Harry Kane. You know, in terms of his all-round link-up play, right. I mean, Harry Kane could drop off and play passes like a number 10. He can play 50, 60, 70-yard ping passes, round the corner, you name it. Karim Benzema, drifting around the pitch when he was at Real Madrid, flicking little balls and, you know, linking the play up. and dra That's not Erling Haaland. And so when, when City are struggling a little bit in the final third, when he's a little bit off form... And don't forget, he's playing against arguably the two best centre-backs in the Premier League, who did a brilliant, brilliant job at the weekend. They were un unbelievable. How William Saliba... Somebody, somebody needs to send a tape of this, that <laughs> game, Deschamps. to Deschamps, <laughs> and say, please, please tell me why this guy doesn't play and, and is not going to play at the, at the Euros. He's got to play at the Euros. So there's that factor as well. But does Erling Haaland a lot of times have a bad touch? Yeah. Does his link-up play... The best? No. So these are all things that we knew before the game. When he's when he's finishing starts to get poor, and it has been a few times this year, thinking back, I think it was the Chelsea game and others, that's when he's going to be criticised because he needs the goals to keep those numbers up, as Jurgen was saying, because lots of lots lots of his other game need polishing. As good as this guy is, there are parts of his game that I don't think he's ever going to be the best at. But as for scoring goals at the moment, he, he is one of the Look, best. I, I understand criticism, and it's hard to disagree with a lot of it, given, given what you saw against Arsenal. But let, let's be honest, an, an average player doesn't score 52 goals in a season. He, at, at the best of times. If an average player, everything goes right, you don't get to 52. Um, nor do you have the, the kind of records that, that Erling Haaland had even before his arrival at Manchester City in both the Bundesliga and the Champions League. I, but then, and, and, and to, to him dropping off and, and providing, pr providing more, more link-up play, there were times last season where he wasn't getting a lot of service and you saw him dropping back. And Pep Guardiola gave him instruction, no, I don't want you back in my midfield. You go and, and play up on the shoulders of defenders. So he doesn't want him coming back there. So he's doing what's asked of him. But well, I, I just can't help that while he spent a lot of times on the sideline injured, I, I can't help but feel that that has affected him. Mm -hmm. Because... As I said, you, you, are, you cannot be an average player and score 52 goals in the Premier League, ever. Um, so I, and then just give him some of the little things, that chance later on where he could have squared, I think it was to, to Rodri, and, and he completely whiffed at it. Those are things that are just so uncharacteristic of, of, of Erling Haaland um, that I wonder that if it isn't a knock-on of some of those injuries that he's had to deal with. But he, he, I think people forget that... He is still <laughs> relatively young. 23. And he's learning. He's still learning parts of the game. that when, right. Jürgen, when Jürgen was playing up front for all these big teams and the national team, it's learning how to use your body as a striker and how to lean into defenders. And when, when, not, when a defender gets tight, too tight to you, how to spin them. And, and all these sort of things that you get better at. I don't know if you don't get better at, then it's a problem. But mm. it's not just about, about the goal-scoring aspect of it. It's about... If, Sali if the two centre-halves want to get in a fight with me as a striker, what do I do? Right. Because if I get in a fight back with them and it becomes a wrestling match, it's taken away from the rest of my game. So I've got to find, I've got to find a way of dragging these people into different positions or not getting into a wrestling match in the middle of the park and making it difficult for myself. And I kind of felt it when balls were getting played up to his feet or his chest... That's what was happening. That the guys, they, those, one of those two cent halves was already tight to him, and he, he, he struggled in that department. But that doesn't take away. It, it, put it one way. There's not a team in the world, yeah. club for, club team in the world that he doesn't walk into and they go, we'll have him. Jurgen, what do you make of what the boys are saying? 
No, absolutely. I totally agree with Craig there. Um, when you battle constantly two center backs and they're both all the time all over him, sometimes even in the six drops back and then they, have, they build a triangle around him. Um, this is this eats you up. This makes you frustrated. Um, and then suddenly you get your chances. You make the right runs and you're just out of breath. You are just tired a second and then you don't convert that thing. And that eats you even more up. So at the age of 23, where he's at right now, at the age of 23, is unbelievable. It's, it's incredible what this guy has already done in the game and will continue to do. But he will mature. He will get stronger. He will get calmer inside of him. Uh, he will kind of fight these fights against the center backs differently by time. Um, and he will mature. And, and this is something normal. But... At the end of the day, he still provides all these numbers. He scores these goals, this yeah. incredible amount of goals, and carries an entire nation on his shoulders. You know, whenever he goes on the international break, I mean, Norway is just waiting for Erling Haaland. Oh, just be the, please make make us win these games somehow. Get us somewhere. You know, and this is not not easy for a kid, 23 years of age. So he's done he's done tremendously until now, and he will do even better in the future.